Today we are in verse 15 from Sri Sri Radharasa Sudanese. When I say, let's go to Krishna Amrita, the dark nectarian Yamuna, to take a bath, the daughter of Vrishabhanu jokingly replies, Oh, Saki, just wait until the night falls. <clears throat> when will I ever get so much nectarian giving playful honor from her? When I say, let's go to Krishnamrita, the dark nectarian Yamuna, to take a bath, the daughter of Vrishabhanu jokingly replies, Oh, Saki, just wait until the night falls. When will I ever get so much nectar-giving playful honor from her? The honor of Radha's maidservants. This verse is sometimes also translated with reversed roles. Srimati says, Saki, let's take a bath in the Krishnamrita, nectarian Krishna, or the black water of the Yamuna. And Sripad, in his kinkari form, replies, Just wait until the night falls. Then, your superiors cannot notice us, and I will let you bathe in the Krishna nectar as much as you like. For that, I will take you to a fresh bower house in Vrindavan. When Srimati hears these words, the ecstasy named Rati appears in her and although she tries to hide the symptoms of this mood from her maidservant, she nevertheless shows a slight smile. The maidservant feels blessed by relishing the sweetness of this smile.
Srimati chastises her maidservant with her glances that are filled with a slight loving anger. In the morning, the maidservants had brought kadamba flowers to make floral ornaments and garlands for Srimati's decoration. The honey was still dripping out of them because they had been brought so suddenly. Srimati takes one such, a nectar-giving kadamba flower, and beats her maidservant with it. The maidservant is blessed by that beating and by seeing the beauty of Srimati's eyes and face at that moment. She thinks, how much honor merciful Srimati gives me by beating me with these honey-filled kadamba flowers. Suddenly, the transcendental vision vanishes, and Sripad humbly prays, When can I receive such honor from you? We can ask, what is the honey-filled kadamba flower? What is the symbol of this? Honey filled Kadamba flower. All the all the plants, all the vegetation, all the flowers in in uh, in Raj, they are nourished by by Radha. And this honey, I suppose, is the, the sweetness that comes from them. And to be beaten is a bit funny but to us, but I'm sure it's not for pain, it's more for affection, for closeness. But we remember this whole scene, this whole Raj scene is it's pure emotion. It's purely spiritual. And that means that everything that's happening there is a reflection of the soul, of the of the makeup of the divine soul. So all these little glances and reproaches and beating and honey flowing, these are all little ways of expressing what divine love looks like. And what um, Prabhupada sees when he's in his transcendental consciousness. <clears throat> Yes, and uh, there is also described the broad, the maid sounds broad is kadamba flowers to make ornaments, and the honey was still dripping out of them because they had been brought so suddenly. Mm. 
Yes, there is uh, this meaning is there behind these kadamba flowers. But I'm not, I think there is a why they uh, uh, tell this two, three times here. What is the meaning of the kadamba flower and dropping honey? Yeah. It's super, it's of course super fragr fragrant. It's very strong. Yeah. In the West, we use it to make uh, perfume. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, there is some. Uh, Kadamba is the tree of Radhika because this uh, Kadamba is like a ball, small yellow ball. Rava. Ah, from a tree. Tree, and this comes in rainy season in Vrindavan when Jhulani Yatra. Tamar is a Krishna symbol and Kadamba is a Radhika golden tree. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is always with honey because of Radhika's skin. Golden skin. Bee is always coming to that honey. And birds are dancing. And now she is beaten by this kadamba flower. When you fall, it's like a ball and it's very soft. <laughs> soft. It's like a soft, but it's a ball. It's like a flower, but like a ball. So if the nectar giving kadamba flower is Radharani, the nectar, the honey that comes from is her mercy. And when she beats the maidservant with it, she's throwing this honey, she's whipping this honey all over so that the maidservant is covered in this sweet nectar as well. Wow. What a beautiful picture, huh? I also was kind of feeling and exploring into the part up above Shrimati's uh, the way when Anandas Babaji is describing how sometimes it's the verse is translated in reverse. So Srimati is asking, 
to go to the Yamuna and bath and the Saki is say, or the, it says Saki here, but Sripa in his kinkari form replies. So the Mandri is saying, like, just wait, just wait. And this, this separation, when Srimati is being told to wait by her maidservant, causes the ecstasy named Rati to appear, this madness to appear because she wants to go now, she wants to go now, she wants to go now, she wants to go now. And the maidservant is telling her, wait slowly, we can't go yet, we can go soon. And she's so excited to go, she wants to go, she wants to go, she wants to go. And the maidservant is, is slowly trying to tell her, we um, just wait until the night falls and we can go then. And then she, even though she tries to hide these, these, this mood, the symptoms of this rati, this madness, she nevertheless shows a slight smile. And then the first goes on saying, Srimati chat the maidservant with her glances that are filled with slight loving anger. It's the role of Mantari, of course, to increase Swamini's desire to see her Mohan. So that when, when Sripad in Kinki reform says this, then that's the first thing that happens, she gets more eager. Mm. But then what's mysterious, like you say, is that she doesn't want her, her Mantaris to know that she's more eager. So she tries to hide the feeling, but cannot hide it. And then the smile comes and they know, ah, we succeeded. <laughs> we succeeded wow. in making her more desirous. And even then, when she chastises, when she scolds them, it's sort of play chastisement. Because, of course, she wants to desire him more, too. But she, she doesn't want it to be the Manjaris who are controlling this. How dare you make me love him more? Yeah, <laughs> I love the um, description of this one, <clears throat> filled with slight loving anger. Mm. I feel exactly as you're describing, would have like, how could you do this to me? Thank you, thank you. How could you do this? <laughs> In some editions of this book, the text says Yavatiti instead of Yavad Iti. In that case, the text can be explained in another sweet way. Today, Mahadeva sent a message to Srimati that she can meet him in a grove of Kali Kadamba trees. So she goes out to meet him there at night. Because her body shines like lightning, she smears herself in, uh, with blackish musk and dresses herself 
with a blue sari and a blue cape. Hanging sapphire necklaces around her neck and blue bangles on her wrists so that she will not be noticed by anyone. Thus emerges with the dark night. The text describes her doing this, Srimati smearing herself with blackish musk and dressing herself with a blue sari and a blue cape, and we can imagine the Mandri there assisting her when she needs in these preparations. Srimati passionately arrives on the yard of the Tristing Bower, and when Nagada hears the jingling of Srimati's ankle bells, he eagerly takes her inside the kunja. Their hearts melt of love when they see each other. So this must be very beautiful when Srimati is like this, huh? when she is uh, dressed like this, what you said, Mahatmaji. So this to imagine, even if she is not smeared with this blackish mask, how beautiful her body will shine in the night. Huh? So even in a dark night, her body is shining. And so she covered this beautiful body with a mask, blackish mask. And the beautiful blue sari, what you said also, blue cape, sapphire necklaces, blue bangles. So she is, uh, what is it, camouflage? Yeah. She is, yeah. is uh, she, she used some camouflage, but how beautiful this. When she is there in the, in the night, shining so blue. Wow. Camouflage, and, yes. But she's she's changing her identity. She's she's becoming Mohan here. And remember we remember that Radha and Mohan they are two aspects of the same of Krishna. One is the lover, one is the beloved, one is the subject, one is the object. And they're so close that they can easily change. We see this many times, don't we? So when he when she becomes Krishna, then she's calling on Krishna to come to her, to desire her. This is also part of the mysteries of divine love.
Is a beautiful image to feel into and to meditate on the amount of detail and intricate work that needs to go into this camouflage on her body that shines like lightning. We can imagine lightning. I mean, it lights up the entire the entire dark sky. It's dark everywhere, and this bolt of lightning, and all of a sudden, everything is entirely bright for a flash of a second and if this is the intensity that her body is shining with it takes a lot to cover i mean you can only imagine what it would take to cover lightning cover the the, the shining of lightning from the from the dark sky and so the amount of of detail and um yeah intricate intimate focus from the manjari that it would take to to cover this lightning so that she won't be noticed by anyone when she merges with the dark night to go out to meet Mohan. Yes, and we can imagine it's not the full moon time. It's a new moon time when the darkness is there. Otherwise, she used a white sari to mm. camouflage. But here she uses a, a blue sapphire. So, what is the lightning? Uh, the lightning it describes that her because her body shines like lightning. And what does this mean? Good question. I took it to describe her her effulgence and kind of her bodily her her bodily color and the color is always meaning uh, feeling, and she is the source of the love, and she is also she is Mahabhav. So this body of the Mahabhav is always shining and the color is actually a golden color but it's uh, emanating from that body it's always shining mm. and we so see the intensity of this shine when uh, Mahaprabhu appears he has the same And uh, he affects with this lightning, with these emotions, what emanates from this body, even the animals in the forest. So that they become intoxicated by this immense feelings that comes from this source of love and baths. And so he, in this way, he spreads these different baths to this world. And till today they are shining in the form of the Gurudev from different lines. So we can read in the Chaitanya Charitamrita uh, about the tree, the Chaitanya tree. And there we can see how many baths he spread to his disciples, to his followers. And this is uh, the bodily uh, shining of our Swamini and in the night time she cannot cover this so easy. When it's dark she is like the sun then.
So it's not a flash of like lightning. It's not coming and going quickly. It's just very bright, you say. Right. Maybe it's always, the... she is the sun, really, we can say. If we uh, try to explain her beauty, we need uh, the most intense things uh, from this world to explain it, to try to explain it. And so the Raghunathas or Pabodananda try to explain their what they see, what they, uh, they try to explain it to us, things that not happen in this world. How to explain this is not so easy. So they use this different uh, things that are uh, available in this uh, material abode. Yeah. So maybe the lightning doesn't necessarily describe her color, but the, as you said, Cora, kind of the, the intensity of which her color shines. And we can imagine also that there are not this constant intense shine, but it's, uh, she changed also the feelings. And so also this, this, uh, uh, intense shining is, is changing a little bit now uh, because of her different moods. Because she's Mahabha. And uh, when we speak about prema, this all is including her beautiful body. <laughs> Rai sits on Sean's left side. <laughs> the desire of them both are fulfilled. Tripod, in his kinkery form, is absorbed with her, his service. When the youthful couple begin their love play, she goes outside and watches their sweet pastimes through a hole in the vines. For the kinkery, this is now the nectar giving play grove of Kadamba trees. Mm 
Rasada Kevi Kadamba Kunja. The word Kadamba also means an abundance. The sweet nectar of Radha and Mohan's love, love play gushes out of the Bower Cottage. After the divine couple have completed their love plays, the maidservants enter the Kunja to serve them by fanning them and bringing them cold, scented water and betel leaves. Srimati, who is called Vilasini Mani, the jewel of playful girls, has forgotten everything out of ecstasy. Although we can see there this what happened there in the Kunja, this to meditate on this, it's also in we can meditate on this only when we really enter in the mood of the manjari. We cannot do this in the bodily consciousness. Otherwise it's all demolished or how say in English kaput. You can see this with the eyes of a manjari. And then we see how this this wave of Swamini is uh goes through Mo, uh, Mohan. He is the, the the main relisher. What is the name? Rasa. Sekara. What is his Ra Rasika Shekara. He is able to handle this wave of Mahabha. He is the only one who can get this full immense power of her feelings in that form of a, of a great wave. So this is also the symbol of Radha Kund and Shyama Kund. It's always flowing from Radha Kund to Shyama Kund, right? Shyama Kund is, is, uh, will become empty if Radha Kund is not always flowing towards him. So he is the, the great relisher and she is the the source of all this immense feelings and different moods in the law. And this is what happened in the Kunja. She is overflowing this this oh. Mohan. And we can see this when that happened. Only Manjari can see this. Oh, <laughs> 
Srimati, who is called Vilasini Mani, the jewel of playful girls, has forgotten everything out of ecstasy. Although Sham is with her, she thinks that she is alone, and she thinks that the day is night. So she tells her maidservant, Saki, let's go to the Krishna Mrita. The Yamuna to take a bath. The Kinkri replies, But it is night now. Wait until the morning comes. Understanding her mistake. Srimati laughs slightly. The maidservants think that the sight of this sweet smile is the greatest honor and the greatest reward. And when this vision vanishes, she prays, when will I receive such honor? Hmm. This is the goal of Sevaras, the smile of Swamini. There is nothing more to get in the, in the life of a manjari. No, nothing is higher than this. Hey Radhe Vino Lini Karuna Koriya to me Dasigane Like More Nama Premolasi Sneha Bare Adesa Koribe more, Kolo Krishna Mrita Kori Sana. O Radhe Vinodini, be so kind to count me among your maidservants. When will you? affectionately and full of loving bliss, order me. Come on, let's go to the Krishnamrita to bathe. Uttare bolivo ami ap Kesa koroho tumi 
Rajani te keli kunja dama. Abhisara oriya. Krishna maya. Krishna priya. Krishna mrita. Korabios naha. I will reply, just wait, O Krishna Mai, Krishna Priya, until the night comes, then I will bring you to the play bower and make you bathe in the Krishna nectar. Sunarma vachana suni Ulasa barete dani Rasa gandhi keli ye kadamba Ange nixe pana kore, kobe mana dive more, ula ke purita hobe anga. When you hear these joking words, you become filled with joy and you throw a fragrant nectarian clay kadamba flower at my body. When will the hairs on my body stand erect of joy when I receive all this honor from you. Thus ends verse 15. <laughs> When I say Let's go to Krishnamrita to take a bath. The daughter of Rishabhanu jokingly replies, Oh, Saki, just wait until the night falls. When will I ever get so much nectar giving playful honor from her? The honor of Radha's maid servants. I feel that this honor is Swamini's mercy. Mm. 
Will the hairs on my body stand erect of joy when I receive all this honor from you? How close we are always with our Swamini to exactly know every step. The next step we have to know, like it's described here. After the divine couple have completed their love place, the maidservants entered the kunja to serve them by fanning them and bringing them cold, scented, no, scented, scented? Scented. Scented water and beta leaves. So they exactly know the next step. They watching very carefully what happened to Swamini and the divine couple, and they exactly knows always what to do. They can read their mind, their feelings. So they are so expert. And in this way, they guide the divine couple, and they are like, how good they said, they are the the shadow of Swamini. So they, if they are in separation, that makes a, a great pain in their heart because they cannot do this. You are still with us. Always. Okay. <laughs> this is the beauty. Before we are on this stage of fully connecting with Swamini, our Guru Manjari is with us and she is guiding us. So what is the picture of the the verse from today. What's very special about these, the way Anantadas Babaji writes these commentaries, also in Vilapakus Mantari is that the prayer comes at the end. So he writes the, the Lila, he writes about what Shiripad has experienced in the transcendental plane, or in Otolasi Mantari, for Velapakus Mantari. And then when it's all over, he goes to Sarekabesh, material consciousness, 
And then he prays the prayer, which is at the beginning that we put at the top. <laughs> so he has this lovely experience and then is crying. Why can I please go back to what we just heard about? <laughs> And then comes a new story, a new Leela from Transcendental Plane. And then he goes out again and and feels the separation and wants to go back. And so on. How do we, I have a question, how do we understand the Yamuna here? What is that meaning? The Krishna Amrita. First, uh, I like to Okay. What you said before, Udafji, is that it comes on the end. Okay. This, uh, this lamentation, actually, and mm. prayer for the for the new view. What I can feel that these great souls actually only come back, and this whole lila is to share. That what they see, that what they get with us, to give us the blessing to take part of this. Mm -hmm. So they come out and then again they pray. So in the prayer, they show us how to behave to enter in this. They show what to do, the way. They, sh they show the, the lila and they showed the, also the way to enter the lila. So we yeah. have to follow their footsteps. And this is uh, what a great mercy we can say. And it's really depend on these great souls that we get this, all this pictures and feelings. Yes, and actually these are the, the same prayers we have to pray. Yeah. When will I receive such honor? They put the words in our mouth. There was a question, Udav What what question again? Oh, you... um, the, we didn't discuss the Yamuna, the Krishna ah, yeah. Krishna Amrita. What that means. <laughs> Krishna ah, yes. is is Jamna water looks like a dark black is so in Vilap Kusamanjali when uh, <coughs> Radha Rani is going to Jamna Bath. 
he feels that she is taking embracing in Yamuna to Krishna. So that that is the embracing to Krishna in taking bath. In Vilapu Krishna. Mm. She feels like this. Beauty. So, Krishna Amrita here say to remind Jamna is a male. For her, she feel like this. Right. Although Jamna is one of the patrani of um, uh, of, of, of of Krishna, but Radhika feel like this. For her, Jamna path is a ba- embracing to Krishna. <laughs> Because the water is black. If you see the water of Krishna Jamuna, it looks not blue, dark is. Dark is blue like this. They like to use this double meaning of words, good. They've also yeah. not. Yeah. This is the joke when they are speak to the each feeling, other. Then <laughs> the feeling, or the feeling of Radhika, every place is the Krishna feeling. The feeling. She feels every circumstances, Krishna, how she feels, and how she is in meditation at the point. Yeah. To understand, you have to be very close to her. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. you will not get this double Ma- meaning. Or mine. <laughs> it will be doubtful how this can pile. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, hai, tum aaj hai, kitna, kitna ho gaya, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot eat food. Yeah. Rather, read it. Oh, we just finished the verse. Should we continue with the next? No, no, no. Then tomorrow. <laughs> very ex, very exciting. <laughs> with this, when Swamini is. Uh, what is what is what we said 
camouflage her body with a blue sari and uh, with a blackish mask. Yes, sir. Huh? And uh, blue cape and sapphire necklaces around wow. her neck and blue bangles she used huh? on her wrist. 117. Huh? Good. Very good. Yeah, very good. You see, every place a blue mask, sari, black mask is all meditation of Krishna. Wow, this is what Uddhavji also explained. So nice. Uddhav is Vishnu Rasika. <laughs> and Siddhanta Maharaj is not coming. No, he's here. You know? Ajah? Yes. Wow. He also become Rasi good. Wow. Yes, this is uh, because of uh, this uh, some different association. I think maybe I don't know. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He can say. <coughs> Radhe, Radhe. <coughs> Very Radhe. How are you, Gurudev? Very nice. Yeah. So How I'm in. I'm in Gorilla here in Mayapur. Yeah. Begging, yeah. begging for mercy of Gordon Thai every day, and surrounded by beautiful devotees and beautiful temples. Yeah. Uh, I, but I miss so much your association and 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 the mandir uh, in Vrindavan. So look, you do come back with them. I'm coming in two days. Yeah. Huh? But I want to ask you: Is it possible that I visit you in Delhi for one hour or two hours? Yeah, yeah, you can come. Yeah, I just need the address. Uh, maybe Raj. By can send me the address because I I arrive on my flight like in the morning around eight nine a.m. So I have some time before I go to Vrindavan. So I miss you so much. Do you have phone number? Yeah, I think I have Raj phone number. On, I no, have no, Raj no, number. Shantaya. Yeah, Sham uh, Sham Priya or Raj. Prashant Prashanti. Yeah, Prashant Prashant Bhai. Aha. Uh -huh. Also, Ras Lila can also give, no? Ras Lila. Yeah, she's still there? She's there. Uh, good. Okay. So, not tomorrow, but next day. Two days. No. Okay. Okay. All the best. Radhe Radhe. Get well, please. Radhe Radhe. Soon. Radhe Radhe. <laughs> Can you? Can you put this butter in this? Okay. Yeah. No butter. Yeah. All glories to the Rasika Vaishnavas. I know. Take the butter. Put the butter. Gurudev's in his butter leela now. We, we butter should leela. This is Rasa. This is real Rasa. Butter Acharya. Suniti say Butter Acharya. 
Ja, ja, ja. All the best, good day. Radi, radi. Ja, good day, good day.